Hi everyone, it is Tuesday <laughs> and as you might be able to tell I have a new look so this morning I booked an appointment to get my hair cut at Scar Salon which is in Gardens and it's actually a pretty well-known salon here in Cape Town um, if you're familiar with the band The End Word that's where they, they would get their hair cut um, yeah and so I had an appointment with Andre and he just did like a really nice simple kind of pixie cut. He was able to cut out all of the bleached hair so it's finally gone. <laughs> and then I went across the street to Molten Toffee which is a really cute little coffee shop, had some breakfast like brunch there and did some reading. While I was at Molten Toffee I actually um, learned about a really cool shop called Duck Duck Goose and they're like a small brand, they're a small like boutique style shop that carries um, like local designers and that was on Bree Street so I walked over there and checked it out and that place was so cool. A few names I was familiar with before I got here, I'll actually show you what I got too while I was there. So this is one of the designers, Debe Magugu, which I've actually learned about him through Instagram before I visited Cape Town and then what I went to the shop for is actually a pair of sunglasses very cool tortoise shell I really love this shape really nice quality and the shape is just super cool um, they remind me a bit of the like crap eyewear brand but um, I've been looking for like this kind of elongated how would you describe these? Elongated oval shape maybe? But then like squared off in the ends. So yeah, really, really like these. Um, yeah, and I'm so happy that I walked over to that shop. I had actually like driven by it the other day and saw it from a distance and thought like, oh, that place looks really cool. But I kind of forgotten about it. So I'm really glad that I went to visit it today. <laughs> pudding with some fresh fruit and nut mix so today is friday it's the day it's actually black friday which surprisingly a lot of people participate in that outside of the u.s but uh today is a very exciting day because i'm going to be getting a tattoo today i have been looking forward to this all week so i tried to schedule it um and it got rescheduled and i wasn't sure if i would be able to do it but the day is finally here so yeah, I'm super super excited for that. I'm going to a place nearby called Palm Black. I found them on Instagram and um, I really liked that uh, tattoo studio because a few of their artists do like stick and poke style tattoos or hand poked tattoos. And I've been wanting to get a tattoo for years and I just finally, the idea popped into my mind the other day when I was sitting at a coffee shop like, oh, I should just do it while I'm here. 
be a really cool experience so yeah i originally had a different idea for a tattoo i plan to um see a tattoo artist named megs who does a lot of like hand poked like lettering and stuff that was like a tattoo design that i had wanted since i was in college but more recently i've been interested in another design which i will not tell you right now i'll just show you guys when it's finished instead it'll be a little surprise and i decided that i should just go with that design because that's more representative of what i want now um so yeah i and actually the artist that i was supposed to meet with for the hand poked like lettering um had to cancel and so i was able to reschedule for today with another artist who does more like illustration style styles and he's very, very talented so yeah that's the plan for today i am so so looking forward to this i'm very nervous too because i don't know what my pain tolerance is like and the tattoo itself is going to be quite small so i think it's a good like first one to get so i get a feel for what the experience is like because i do definitely want to get um a lot more in the future on my arms mostly and before I leave today, I actually really need to reschedule my flight too. I really need to do that because I'm technically supposed to leave in four days. I also want to show you guys something really cute that I just noticed right here. So this is the little fiddle leaf fig that sits on the desk here. And I just noticed there's a new leaf. Yeah, I watered this little fig, fiddle leaf fig the other day. And now it has a new leaf. I'm very happy because when I got here, this leaf right here, which is all new and shiny looking, was actually pretty small too. And now it's big. So yeah, this plant is just thriving right now. <laughs> I don't know when I stopped vlogging yesterday, but I'm... Yeah, it was such a lovely day. It was Thanksgiving in the US and I was actually able to like video chat with my family which was so so nice and they did a ton of cooking as I'm sure many of you all did too. I plan to go to Bree Street to check out a coffee shop or like a cafe for lunch because I had been walking down there the other day but I had already eaten and there were so many like great looking restaurants there. So I just went into one of them which is called The Ladder and it's a really cute place. And I ran into Libane, who I actually met when I was walking along Bree Street the other day, which was really sweet, and we were kind of talking for a bit, and she just came in on her lunch break, and um, yeah, so I got to uh, like sit and chat with her for a while. She's such a lovely, lovely person. Like, literally everyone that I've met here has been so wonderful. I don't know, I just love the people here. Yeah, just enjoying the weekend, which it should technically be my last weekend here, but I'm going to take care of that right now. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I thought I would do a little update. It's now about like 8 o'clock and I'm about to make dinner. Um, I ended up not getting my tattoo today. It needed to be rescheduled. And also there is a new like travel restriction announcement today. Um, so it's been a bit of a weird day. It's also raining here, which it just like has not rained at all I think I'm just gonna it's actually raining right now I don't know if you can hear that and thundering too, which is the first time I've heard that so quite a big storm and You know, it's been so windy all week and then earlier today was extremely humid and hot and sticky and the air just felt really heavy So I'm really happy that it's raining now So I think I'm just going to put a few things together and have a really simple dinner tonight because that is what I'm in the mood for. Um, and tomorrow I'm actually going to a friend's giving so I'll be eating um, very uh, hearty holiday food tomorrow so yeah. <laughs> 